Hi all and welcome back. Today's video was originally intended to be a what I eat in a week, but I ended up having to take care of one of my family members, so I'll just show you what I had for dinner. As you can see I'm slicing up, or at least I'm trying to slice up, a fairly fat piece of beef and I'm arranging it on a plate along with some raw liver and a pretty weird looking butter mayonnaise. And in case you're wondering why it looks like that, just stay tuned and I'll show you how it went from this to this. What a nice creamy consistency. Anyway, here's me enjoying my meal, not thinking about anything if not how good liver is. And I apologize about all these cuts, I actually wanted to film me eating as a whole and then fast forward it, but it turns out I don't have enough storage in my phone, so you're gonna have to deal with the cuts. Day 2 of me filming what I had for dinner, aka my homemade kimchi, check the recipe if you haven't, plus some of that raw beef that you saw from last night. If you really can't do spicy, maybe this kimchi recipe is not for you, but I still recommend you incorporate some kind of fermented vegetable into your diet. I kid you not, benefits are almost immediate. It's day 3 of me showing you what I have for dinner with exceptionally bad lighting. But you know what? I'll forgive myself, because this little trick that I'm about to show you is actually something that I'm really proud of. And it does help with a diet that can get kind of boring sometimes. As you can see I'm slicing up my raw cheddar cheese into 1 inch thick pieces and did the same with the beef. Roll them up together, just like that, to create a cute little meat and cheese roll. And I'll give you that, it might not be such an original idea. But it's still less boring than eating a piece of cheese and some meat separately. I'm normally used to finishing everything on my plate, but this was too much even for me, so I had to give up. The problem with this mayo is that I didn't use any type of vegetable oil, so it didn't really turn out very nice. So what I'm showing you here is Agenus Fond of Planet's recipe that does actually contain some olive oil, but it's so much better. I only added a little more lemon juice than it does because I like my mayo sour, but it's just my personal preference and you can adjust it of course to your own taste. And this is what it looks like after two hours in the fridge. It's day four, and except for the lighting that seems to be getting worse, I'm actually making something that goes really really well with that mayo. So I'm adding quite a bit of grated cheese to some fatty ground beef, and shape it into meatballs. And these bad boys taste even better than they look. It's day 5 and I'm having raw heart, fatty muscle meat and some raw butter for extra nutrition. In case you're wondering, I'm only eating beef this week because this is what my local farmer had available for me. And when I put my hands on other kinds of meat, you'll get notified. And dinner number 6 is just some good old ground beef and raw butter. Not fancy but definitely satiating. I hope this video inspired you, helped you or entertained you, 
and stay tuned for more.